Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, we're gonna be talking about this. This is the Isotope Spire, a standalone little eight track digital recorder, and it's absolutely brilliant. If you're a songwriter looking to get their ideas down quickly without the use of a technical DAW, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because this may be of interest to you. Now it's an all-in-one device. We've got a microphone in the front, we've got on the back of the unit, two combi XLR jack inputs, phantom power, got two mini jack headphone outs, one on the front, one on the back, so two people can listen to what's being recorded. Record button on the front, play button, this LED ring that goes around it, it will show you your input level. You can control your output level on this as well. And it also display the eight tracks in different colors all around the ring. Now this is controllable via an app, say on an iPad or an iPhone, but you can use this without any app at all. So you can hit new song, and hit record and you've recorded a track and then you want to move on to record another track you just hit record and it automatically creates another track for you to record to and you can do that all the way around the ring till you've reached the eight track maximum got this very cool sound check feature here this automatically sets your input recording level so it'll give you eight seconds or so to play the loudest part of your part and the device will work out your optimum recording level which is fantastic so let's put this thing to work. I've got a rough idea of a song that I want to get down quickly. I've got a few ideas for other parts such as backing vocals and maybe even some bass guitar. So let's see how quickly we can get all that down with the Spire. Now I'm going to record my ideas down obviously using the Spire, but I'm also going to use the app so that you can see how this thing works. I'm going to create a new project, just that simple. We've already got one track loaded there. You can see some signal coming in on that track. Let's enable sound check. There we go. And the device has worked out the optimal recording level. Nice and easy. Now what's cool is that the app has a metronome built in. We've got a tap feature, you can turn it on and off, change the meter at the top, you can even change the speed of the tempo by <laughs> moving this little ball up and down like you would do on a traditional metronome, which is quite nice. So let's tap the tempo, get something that would work for this idea. So, so about that, let's hit records. Now it's gonna give me a bar counting before it starts recording, but I'm gonna give it another bar just to make sure I don't chop anything off the beginning of my performance. So let's turn the tempo on and hit records. Okay, that was nice and easy. Let's record a second guitar part. And let's hit records. New track gets made. And let's record a third guitar part. Now we've got three tracks down on the LED ring at the top here. You can see on the right, we've got purple, blue, and light blue. Those are the tracks that we've recorded. On the left, that's our input level. One, two, test. And as I record more tracks, this will populate with more colors to show us that we've got more tracks recorded. Now in the app, we've got this little mix window, numbers on the side, one, two, and three. They're the three tracks we've recorded. Now. We've seen this kind of thing in Isotope Neutron 2, the visual mixer, not too dissimilar to that. So three is the last track I just recorded. I can pan that over to the right. Two is the track I recorded previously. I can pan that to the left and obviously we can turn the volumes up and down here as well. Let's have a little listen back.
very nice. Now let's move across and record some bass guitar. I've plugged this in, jack DI to one of the inputs on the back. Now we've got two combi inputs on this thing. If you plug into number one, it will disengage the microphone on the front. If we put this into number two, we will be able to record both the microphone and whatever we plug into the back. For this, we're just gonna plug into input one. So, that's what it sounds like out of the box. Nothing too exciting. However, we can record with some effects. Do that very easily here on the records page, recording effects, and we've got some amps and spaces. Let's go for this one called bass. Sounds quite nice. Let's turn the drive down a little bit though. Let's go for that. Let's do a quick sound check. Sorted, so let's go for a take. And now you can see we've got four tracks there on the light ring. So let's get some vocals down. Let's unplug the jack from input one. Re-enables the microphone on the front there. One, two, one, two. Let's get some recording effects going again. Now, quick mention about the effects is that you record with them. You can't add them after you've recorded something, which is nice, which is nice. I don't mind that at all. So let's go for spaces. One. As a top As a top this one. Let's bring the amount down a little bit. One, two. Click tick. Happy with that. Let's do a second vocal part. Let's change the effects, maybe. One. Something with echoes. And I'm going to turn the metronome off because I don't really need it now. Now, with some of the takes before, you could hear that. Uh, there's some noise going on, especially on these uh, two guitar parts. Now we can trim this away. Trim. Move the playheads and trash to the left of it. Gone. Same with the next part. Trim, it's in the right part. There was a bass note that come in a little bit too early. Again, trim, cut. Let's cut away some of that noise as well from the main vocal and the backing vocal. Let's have a listen back to this. Let's trim away some of the background noise from the first guitar part. Trim, remove. much better as you can see very quick to get ideas down with this no time at all and it sounds absolutely brilliant i'm really impressed with this little microphone now you can use your own large diaphragm condenser microphone this does have 48 dB phantom power on the back so you can see i haven't got this plugged into the mains uh, it's got a four hour battery life and you can record up to six hours worth of music on this which is pretty good now let's say you're really digging your demo and you want to extend on those ideas in something like a DAW. Well, you can export your multi-track stems, which is brilliant. Got individual tracks here. Has a little think about it. Preparing individual tracks for sharing. Then you can share it either to your Dropbox or other platforms that you may have. So what's my final thoughts on the Isotope Spire? 
Well, as you can probably tell, I am very, very impressed with this little thing. I mean, I started on a four track tape machine the best part of 20 years ago, and that thing was a real pain to use. This though, this is absolutely brilliant. If you're a songwriter with uh, not a lot of know-how when it comes to DAWs, or you don't like the technical barriers that come up against you when you're in the creative process of songwriting, then ditch the DAW, get yourself one of these, because this just eggs you on to get great sounding parts down and things written in your songs. It is so simple to use. As I said, you don't need to use the app. I think it's very powerful and it's still very simple, but if you're on the go, then this, as long as it's got some charge in it, will suffice. It will get your stuff down really, really quickly. On the front, as I said, you can see all the tracks that have been recorded. Track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And uh, yeah, you can mute tracks by just holding your finger down. Really, really simple. Volume here, click that. This is your output volume to your headphones. Bob's your uncle, very simple. Anyway, for more information on the Isotope Spire, do check out the Isotope website. I hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Production Expert. Happy music making, and I'll see you again soon.